Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another video where today Scott has once again made another Steam post about Ultimate Custom Night in Five Nights at Freddy 6, where he has introduced a very new mechanic that has not been in any of the previous games. It is the first time it has ever been in these games. So we're going to take a look at that, and it's going to be very cool, because I've already had a look at it, and I think it's a pretty cool concept. So let's take a look at it. So as you can see, it was uploaded on May 10th, obviously it was uploaded by Scott, and it's called C, nope, that's a U, I cannot read, UCN Update The Death Coin, uh, UCN stands for Ultimate Custom Night, if you did not know that, so, Ultimate Custom Night Update The Death Coin, there was a new item available at the prize counter, for a lean 10 fast coins, price subject to change, you can purchase the death coin, so price subject to change means he may or may not change the price of the death coin from now until when Ultimate Custom Night gets released. You can only buy it once per night, and you can use it to, el to eliminate one character from the roster, although only certain characters are susceptible to deletion. Which means only certain characters you can remove from the, uh, the night. Although this means that you can potentially eliminate a character who has been giving you trouble, it also means that you will have fewer coins to defend against characters who demand them, such as Rockstar Freddy, Baby, Nightmare Bonnie, and Nightmare Mangle. So if you choose to buy the coin, it can potentially put you in danger until you build up your coin count yet again. So yeah, you very you want to be very careful about how you spend your money if you have... Uh, those four characters, Rockstar Freddy, Baby, Nightmare Bonnie, and Nightmare Mangle, you know, if they're active, you definitely want to save your coin, Faz coins, to defend yourself against them, rather than buy the death coin, just so you can, you know, you can live, because living's a very crucial part in this series. I don't know if you guys know that, but living, it's definitely up in the top three things you should do. Live, eat pizza, and don't die. Wait, don't die and live are the same thing. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> okay, these characters that are the characters that are susceptible for God's sake, the characters that are susceptible. Su this really isn't funny. Don't stop laughing, okay? The characters that are susceptible to deletion by death coin are Bonnie, Foxy, Lefty, Toy Freddy, Funtime Foxy, Marinette. And Rockstar Bonnie. So those are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven characters. I just counted on my fingers. Why did I have to count again? Those are the seven characters that can be uh, susceptible to to deletion by the death coin. The way this feature will work is that once you have purchased the death coin from the prize counter, there will be a death coin icon in the top left. Then, when you are viewing a cam showing a vulnerable target, the icon will light up. If you click the death coin icon at that point, it will eliminate the target animatronic from the game. So if there's an animatronic on the camera, the, uh, well, one of these seven up here, you can't see them anymore, but one of the seven characters on the screen, if it'll light up, and then if you click it, it will just get rid of them entirely. Although this may seem pointless at first, after all, you didn't want a certain character in the game, then why did you add them in the first place, right? Eliminating them in this way still gives you credit for beating that character. It isn't a freebie, it's a calculated risk. Spending 10 fast coins puts you in the risk from other fast coin hungry characters, so it's a choice that players must make depending on the circumstances. Similar to how Rockstar Foxy comes with risk, despite the potential benefits. So, this, this post is really short, and that's good, because it, gi it gives you the information that you need. So basically, the death coin, you can purchase it for 10 fast coins, or uh, he may change it uh, when it comes out because it said, you know, price is. What does it say? Price subject to change. Yeah, it says that. So I'm actually just gonna zoom out because, again, it's always weird when I zoom in and then I start moving around because then you guys get confused because you guys still zoomed in. So I'm gonna zoom you out. And this is the reason why I zoom you guys in. Look how tiny the text is. I mean, it's not so tiny on my screen, but on the recording, it definitely is very tiny. Also, you know, like the Steam stuff and all the comments down here, you guys don't need to see that. All you guys want to see is this text right here, which I can't highlight, this text. So, uh, the death coin, 
Uh, you can get it for 10 Faz coins, again, price subject to change. Uh, you purchase it at the prize counter, which is also where the... No, the puppet's not there. The puppet's in the kitchen. Or the music box, actually, not the puppet. I... Where's the puppet? I can't... No, the pup... I got... I'm so stupid. The puppet is with the music box, and the music box is in the kitchen with Chica. See, I'm remembering things. I'm I'm almost there. Cell five. Woo. Okay. So seven characters that can be affected: Bonnie, Foxy, Lefty, Toy Freddy, Funtime Foxy, Marionette, and Rockstar Bonnie. Hey, look, it's Marionette again. No, I highlighted Funtime Foxy. So the Death Coin. It's a very cool mechanic. I can't wait to see it in action. Again, it will uh, purchase Death Coin for the prize counter. There will be a Death Coin icon on the top left, which is I think this is. You guys is right? Wait. Yeah, this is the right. So for you guys, this is left. This is right for me, because, you know, a camera. I need to stop rambling. I realize I do this a lot of videos. Hopefully you guys don't mind. But you'll see an icon in the left, top left of your screen. So when you pull up a camera and you see one of these seven animatronics, you can click it, because it'll light up, telling you, hey, you don't want this guy. Get him out of there. So you can click that, and it'll just get rid of him. Toy Freddy. I really want to see him play, uh, what is it, Five Nights with Mr. Hugs? Something along that line? I wish that's a game. You know, I bet it is a game. I'm, I'm gonna have to look that up after this video. So yeah, Death Coin. That's really it. I don't really want to ramble on too much, because videos, it doesn't need to be that long, because look, it's articles. This is literally all it is. Just this. And then it goes down to the comments. So yeah, Death Coin. Uh, tell me what... Tell me what you guys think of the death coin in the comments. If it's good, if it's bad, if Scott should include it, if Scott shouldn't include it, if Scott's being mean to us about the custom line, or if Scott's the greatest man in the universe, which, which you know, that that's very debatable at this point. So, anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. So when the death coin does get released in the custom night, you can see it in action. So thank you everyone so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.